Well, doesn't time fly? It's now May. It's Saturday the 6th of May 2017. It's 20 to 7 in the morning. It's British summer time. It's a bit overcast. There's a chilly breeze, but it's still dry. Droughty. I've had the watering can out this morning, watering my bag of potatoes. Anyway, um, off to Cardiff today. Pipes Brewery are having an open tap. On the way, um, Costa Coffee and a haircut. <laughs> That's my plan. Anyway, big cheese, big castle, now cost the coffee. It is rather breezy. Anyway, coffee done. Uh, Piccadilly. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, haircut time. This is the pick. Heads named Piccadilly. And yay! Haircut alert. Well, that's just as well. Hmm. Let us start with the carpet for Mr. Manning. What if there was a Jaffa cake pattern carpet? You'd love them. Anyway, Central Bar does sometimes have pipes on, and this is pipe smoke lager. It's actually a pint glass. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Out a keg. Cold, very cold. Anyway, yeah, get in the smokiness. Mmm. Multi bitter and smoked. Nice smoky finish. I think B plus and a bit. Mmm, really nice. And different. Well, here's the gatekeeper where they want to put a hotel, and hence the same Woman B Street poster. Where that poster is, poster, banner. And that's where the gravity station once was. Anyway, um, getting closer to Canton. Carpet for Mr. Manning. Um, I'm drinking that, which is Red Rocks by Peerless Brewing, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Rich Ruby Ale. Certainly got the colour. Mmm, extremely malty. Malty goes into the finish and then it turns really bitter and nice and long lasting. B plus in a bit. Easily. Extremely bitter finish. I'd forgotten about mild may. However, I enjoy mild may. This is Voiled Moiled by the Wolf Brewery, 4.8% alcohol by volume, 4.8 for mild. Yeah, anyway. Carpet. There used to be a dragon flying from there. Very fruity aroma. Very fruity taste. I don't know if it's strictly what I'm looking for, or I prefer, but B plus, plenty sensible. After this, off the pipes. I think I'm sure. Um, either for the sun or the rain, but since we're in a drought, the sun. Ah, this is pipes. Mr. Manning, they don't seem to have carpet, there seems to be tarmac and cement. But there's real wood tables anyway. The first is uh, pineapple Berliner, 3.7% alcohol by volume. Mm. 
And the lady behind the bar, that's Tiny Rebel in Newport. Her first date, sharp, acidic. What is it particularly pineapple? Nice acidic finish. B plus in a bit. Mind you, at 3.7%, I could drink this all day. Beetroot Berliner. 4.2% alcohol yeah, like by volume. Right. I've had beetroot cider before. I don't like beetroot, by the way, but beetroot cider I like. Aroma. I don't know what it smells like, but, you know. Earthy. Different. But since I don't eat beetroot, that could be what beetroot tastes like. I suspect it does. B plus in a bit. Because it's slightly sour. And slightly acidic. I'm liking it. But what do you get for that? Do you get brown bit. Because I get scared by beetroot. There's a slight issue with the um, burgers at the moment. However, this is the old beer, which is 5% alcohol by volume, and the pints. Mmm. Malty, smoky. Also, keep pressing a bit. Smoky finish. The pipes, and it's food ready in the keep the flush and thing. It's not. Baja Saison, 6%. Alcohol by volume. Smells far healthy. Mm. Plus in a bit. Spicy. Season. As you would expect. I wish the wind would go down. St. Cunn's Ale House. As recommended by me. Moved on from pipes. Now I'm drinking pipes. This is the white APA. 6.8% alcohol by volume, and that will be my last. Reward, Mr. Manning. I see strong spicy finish. Be passing the bit.